I think so. Let's do it. Okay. All right. Hello, everyone. You guys are very familiar with me by now. My name is Iris Weinstein, the Director of Strategic Partnerships and Trade Show Sales for the ISSA Show North America. And we have on our uh, call today, uh, uh, our, our entire team or most of our team, um, we have John and Elias um, from the sales team. We've got Jessica handling all of the sponsorships and the operations. Uh, we also have our show director, Amy Gilmore, uh, joining us. So we have a lot to cover today. Um, you know, we, we've we been working super hard in getting together all of the, um, the resources that you guys are going to need to have a successful show. So wanted to, hold on here. I am, there we go. We have an agenda here. Um, we are going to really focus today on show operations, logistics, and resources, everything you guys are going to need to have a successful event. It is about nine weeks away, so we are really moving quickly and getting you the information. Uh, so we're going to start uh, by having, we're going to talk about the key dates. I have a few key dates in here. Um, but Jessica is going to talk a lot more about, you know, the details, but attendee registration opened uh, July 28th. We have over a thousand attendees that are registered. Um, the week of uh, August 22nd, exhibitor registration will be open and John will talk a little bit more about that. The guest program, um, which many of you have been asking about, is going to be available the week Hope by Friday, August 19th, which is next week. Um, we do have a deadline of the uh, official exhibit directory. That's the printed guide. Uh, we have a deadline of next Friday. Make sure that all your information in the um, exhibitor checklist is updated. Um, we also have in here um, lead retrieval early rate deadline. I believe um, John or Jessica will talk about that. And then the GES advance rate deadline. Um, obviously, you know, looking to save costs, make sure you, you know, go in and order things early. So with that being said, we are going to introduce Jessica to Hi, everyone. talk about the exhibitor portal. Hey, everybody. Um, so basically, once you log into the exhibitor portal, of course, you're going to see all of the tiles with a bunch of different information. What we're going to focus on right now is the tile, of course, at the top on the left hand side, which is your exhibitor checklist. Um, so that is where you're going to find all the information to make sure that you have a successful show. So if we could, oh, there we go. So once you get into that tile, you're gonna see that there's been a lot of other information added in. Um, in the last couple of years, this has more so been when you, where you've gone to, you know, update your digital listing, things like that, update, you know, videos, any information that you wanna put up there for attendees to see. But we've kind of decided this year to add in more of our exhibitor service manual information there just to make it a little bit easier for you to see it. Um, so you'll find, you know, fire and safety regulations. You're gonna see the um, exhibitor bill of rights, show rules and regs, booth construction guidelines, things like that. So it's definitely more visual. Um, you're still gonna see this information in the GES Expresso site, but this just kind of puts it more at the forefront um, for everybody. Um, so next here, I'm going to talk a little bit more about some important items that are in the GES Expresso site. Um, so, but within this, of course, you're going to be able to order all your booth furnishings, um, any, you know, electrical, hanging signs, show shipment information. There's a ton of information here that will go through GES. That also includes EAC information. Um, so if we can move to the next slide, please. I was just going to add in here for what's included in your standard booth. We've been okay. getting a lot of questions about, you know, what color uh, the aisle carpet's going to be. So here it's going to be that blue jay color. Mm -hmm. um, and then the drape. Do we have the drape colors on here, Jess? No, we it's don't. going to be black. 
Drape will be black this year. Drape will be black. Last year, I think it was blue and white. So just something to know when you are setting everything up. Mm -hmm. All right. So here is where you're going to find the shipping information. So there's two options when you are going to be shipping to the show. We have the advanced warehouse, and then we have the direct to show site shipments. So if it is more so recommended that you do ship to the advanced warehouse. Um, that way you can make sure that your shipment is going to be in your booth during your scheduled booth date to start building your booth. So um, that would be between September 7th and October 4th. And then there's also some additional details on times for those shipments included on this page. And then if you are going to ship direct to show site, those are going to come in Saturday, Sunday, or Monday prior to the show um, between 8 and 5 p.m. Um, you can also generate any labels that you'll need. So whether it's the advance or the direct to show shipment, you can generate those in this section as well. Um, and let's see. And then let's see next. We've got the target move-in map and floor plan. So in this section here, um, we've got the target move-in and freight information. We've got the target move-in map, and then we've got target variance requests. So for the target move-in map, I know we've had some questions about that. It has recently been updated. Um, this is something that isn't updated in real time, um, just so everybody knows, but um, we do periodically update it. Um, so there is a recent update. So if you've been asking, it is there. And it's also updated in the exhibitor checklist items that we went over earlier. Um, and basically what you're gonna figure, like find on this floor plan is what date you'll be moving in. And so there's three colors that determine what date you'll be moving in. So that'll either be Saturday, Sunday, or Monday prior to the show floor opening up on Tuesday. Um, if you, for some reason, think that you, or, you, know, you might need a little extra time than the date that has been given to you, there is the target variance request. And this is available through this section through the GES Expresso site. So basically you'll put in your information, you'll put in you know, the reason that you're gonna need extra time and you'll submit it and then it will be approved um, or you know, it will be decided on the GES side and with freight and different um, other items included. So they'll determine that for you, um, but it's always helpful to submit and see if you can get that extra time. So that is where you will do that. And also for those that um, see on the floor plan that you are scheduled on a Sunday, but your staff is coming in on Monday, that's fantastic. Your shipment will be in your booth on Sunday, but you can absolutely come on Monday to start setting everything up. So it just you know helps you understand when your shipment is gonna be in your booth, but you have access to be on the show floor during move-in on Saturday, Sunday, and or Monday. All right, next we've got exhibitor appointed contractors, so our EACs. So to submit your EAC information, you will go through the GES Expresso site as well. Um, there are some EACs that work on multiple shows. So if you have an EAC that does, of course, and they may already be in the GES system, um, it might be helpful to just call GES and see if they're already in there. And then you may not have to resubmit that information. Um, and then also um, for the certificate of insurance, that is something that we don't need personally on the show management side. However, it is required that you do have the certificate of insurance um, and you can upload that through the Expresso site as well. Um, or just make sure that you have that on hand with you when you are setting up your booth and you are on show site, whether it's a digital copy or a physical in hand copy. Um, that way, there's no hiccups anywhere. Um, next, we have booth approvals. So for booth approvals, um, in previous years, we had a requirement that if you were over a thousand square feet, you needed a booth approval. Um, going forward, that is something that we do not need. However, we do need um, your booth approved if you are a double decker or if you have a ceiling or canopy style booth, we will need to approve that. And I do recommend 
going into the show rules and regulations if you have a booth of that style, um, just to make sure that you are up to date and in line with everything that has been updated. Um, McCormick Place has worked with the fire and safety um, team to make sure that they, you know, put together a good plan for everybody and made it a little bit easier. But um, it doesn't hurt to review those and make sure that you are good to go before getting on site. Yeah. And I wanted to add that it is a requirement for all exhibit space, regardless of a 10 by 10 or 60 by 60, that there is a required floor covering. It could be carpet. You can rent it through GES. It could be something you guys bring you know, from home, something that you buy from a third party and bring and set it up yourself, but it is mandatory. Yes, absolutely. And I'll so, let John take it away with the Exhibitor Bill of Rights. <laughs> sure, yeah. So the Chicago has kind of changed a little bit, a little loose. Uh-oh, did we lose John? We may have. Uh, Why John reconnect? anyone sending in the questions we will answer all the questions at the end so you can continue to send them in through the question and answering app and um, we'll just keep those all for the end and answer them um but basically with the exhibitor bill of rights there have been some changes since the last time we were at mccormick place um it's a little bit easier to maybe carry some items onto the show floor um you know it, it's just helpful to review these and you know no. know what you can and cannot do so um, this information is listed, of course, in the checklist items that we have. And then you'll also be able to find it if you happen to go on McCormick Place's website or in the GES website. So um, definitely helpful to review that information as well. Did we get John back? I think we did. <laughs> Thank God. Can everybody hear me? Yes. OK, sorry, my internet is going wonky. I'll try to go fast. Okay. All right. So for your housing, that's also in your portal, guys. So just make sure, you know, to go in there and book your housing. Hotels are filling up. So let's just make sure we get on top of that. There's good rates in there. And just make sure, like, that's top of mind. I know that's kind of self-explanatory, but just make sure you go to that. It's through On Peak. It's a tile in the portal. There are more hotels than this, but this was just a snapshot of, you know, kind of what's what's available for the first, I don't know, 10, 10 hotels, but we have approximately 20 or so hotels in our block. Um, and then shuttle bus. Correct. So we'll have the shuttles that'll pick up at pretty much most of the hotels, but we're still finalizing all those details, right, Jess? Yes. Yeah. yeah. The one hotel we know right now there won't be shuttle is any hotel that is in walking distance from the Cormac Place. Mm -hmm. um, as well as the Holiday Inn. Was it Holiday Inn Merchant Mart, I believe? Um, let me check that. I believe so, yes, it was the Merchant Mart. Yeah. And then exhibitor registration, like we said, uh, we'll open that week, August 22nd, um, just so everybody knows kind of the standard rules of protocols for every 100 feet, you get one complimentary badge, plus two for being a member. And then obviously there's different people on this call that are sponsors and that's a lot of as well. And then Jess can help you figure that out along with Iris and myself and Elias. Um, for each additional just show floor badge, it's $50 per badge. If you want the all access pass, which is to get you all the networking, like the welcome reception, the VIP reception, our cocktails and conversation, all that, that's $99 per person. Um, as we mentioned, the guest program will open up that week, next week, the 19th. So that gives you the ability to send out the free expo passes to your customers. So please take advantage of that. Um, and then the international visa portion, if we have anybody on the call for this, like that is available um, through Exhibitor Reg. But if you need any assistance with that, let us know. Yeah, we also for exhibitors are giving you a, um, a special uh, discount to pass on to your customers to purchase an all access pass. So that information will also be in the um, exhibitor registration dashboard. So when we say August 22nd, we mean at some point during that week, we will send you a separate email to the primary contact on file 
we are going to tell you that exhibitor registration is going to open on a certain date and then you can go in you'll be able to register individuals you could also upload a, a spreadsheet to the portal um, and you can also purchase the all access pass you can purchase the welcome reception separately um, and you can also RSVP to the Hygia yeah. taking place on Tuesday, October 11th um, in the evening, right after the show floor ends. And then it, John mentioned the international visas. If you um, need a visa letter now, just to reach out to sales at issashow.com and we can uh, work with you on providing uh, that letter. So I'm here to tell you guys about the ISSA, ISSA show planner. Um, this is something very important you guys will need for the show. Um, it goes hand in hand with the app that you'll need to navigate throughout the show experience. Uh, just like Lewis and Clark, you don't want to go around without a plan. So why not download the planner to help you guys out? Um, I went ahead and looked for you guys the easiest way to do this. I just went to the Google search bar, typed in my show plan. You'll see a direct link that you can click on and then you'll be able to create your whole show account. And that will lead you to this page where you would log in. Um, and then next slide for me, please. So here you'll be able to see your exhibitors. Um, you can search for them through the exhibitor list search button, featured exhibitors. You can look up products. Um, we also have a shortcut set up for where you could go to who are platinum sponsors, gold sponsors, um, along with the uh, option to see the floor plan. Um, something really cool you can also do is see all the education sessions and networking events which you can do with the third tab that's uh, right there under the blue next to floor plan and exhibitor product services. Um, so that'll be the way you'll navigate through this. Um, this is your way of planning what education session you wanna go to, what networking event you wanna go to. And I believe our app will notify you if you do come to this page to sign up. So it's just an easier way than trying to remember off your brain. There's a lot going on obviously at these shows. So why not have an Apple reminder or an app reminder to help you out? And then finally, you will be able to come and vote on innovation. Um, you are, as yourself, allowed to uh, vote for your own product. However, that is excluded from the voting, just to keep it fair. Um, this is a great way as well to have your customers sign up for their My Show Planner so they can go in here and vote as well on the products they like, hopefully yours, um, along with um, continuing to see all the other items that we're offering at the show. Um, it's still a great time as well to enter the innovation. Right now we do have about 30 products. See from our screen grab, we only have about 17 uploaded. So I know over with Reg going live coming up here, this is a great time to still enter in as well as getting all your products uploaded to our site. And now I'll leave it to John for our sponsorship and advertising opportunities. Perfect, perfect. So yeah, um, just wanna highlight a few things that we still got going on that I think you can take advantage of, of our Connect eBlast. So this is one of our hard and true items that uh, is great success rate. Um, our customers love to renew it, but we do actually have three really good September dates available. So just really want to remind people to take advantage of that. If you're thinking about getting some messaging out there or got something new or innovative or anything along the lines that you want to promote at the show, highly recommend doing the Connect eBlast. It's, it's one of our top sellers. Newer offering this year, I've, I've sent this to a lot of folks, so they might be tired of hearing it from me, but um, there's a, the video clip offering this year that we have. So uh, CNTV is our partner. They film a lot of the innovation stuff for us. Um, but what this is, is it's a short little 30 minute clip that they'll do at your booth. Um, you know, you can talk about your product or talk about your company. Really, it's up to you how you want to do it. Um, but basically the advantage is we put it on our website. Um, and then it kind of stays on our website probably till we refresh the website, which honestly we don't do till January of the next year. And then the other advantage is you get the raw footage. So you can take that 30 second clip and use it in any sort of marketing tool you want to use for. So that's kind of the advantage of that. So if you're interested, reach out to me or Iris or Elias. We'd love to help you. And then the last thing, because this stuff always is kind of a thing I've noticed uh, with my experience is the on-site signage kind of comes in like this late in the game. So one thing on this sheet I really want to like promote is like in Chicago, the way the convention center is set up, which I'm sure you know, like the meter boards are a great thing to kind of take advantage of here. Cause you know, you can do some on level one, level two and a half, and then like level three. And then we're also letting you do them on the show floor this year, like in the main big 20 foot aisles. So 
that's just something I take advantage of because there really is great visibility over uh, – or like in Vegas we were last year, there, there wasn't quite that visibility with it just kind of being that long, narrow kind of hallway. So this year I think there's a little more visibility for those. So all three of these are great, but the meter boards I definitely would take advantage of. The deadline date to get us any sort of graphic for these is going to be at the end of August. So just to give you a time frame, uh, if you guys are thinking about it right now, you do have a few weeks. All right, so the final thing that we're going to talk about is the booth selection for next year. So many of you have asked who have participated over the years. Um, wanted to share with you some really exciting and new news. We have uh, decided to move our show location to, from the Las Vegas Convention Center to the Mandalay Bay Convention Center. So for those who haven't really um, taken advantage or been to the Mandalay Bay Convention Center, everything is there. Everything from your hotel sleeping to the convention center, it's a really short walk to get to all the education and the trade show floor. Um, the dates are going to be November 13th through the 16th. So um, we did have to, um, that was the best uh, option we had available to avoid some of the holidays that are taking place in um, earlier in the year. So um, we do have a housing block at Mandalay Bay, Delano, and Luxor, and all that information is going to be coming out in the next, I would say, few months. Uh, but booth selection, it's going to go a little bit different this year. Um, in the next few weeks, I'm going to be sending out the emails, uh, inviting you for companies that have seniority to complete an exhibit application. Um, which asks you what size booth you're looking to book for 23. And then based on priority order, I will have phone appointments with the first 150 companies in priority order, no, um, September 19th through the 23rd. Everyone else will be able to select their booth on site in Chicago starting October 10th. So we will be doing a priority system um, during the week of October 10th to invite you to select your booth. It's, it's exciting for everyone because we all haven't been to this convention center. So, you know, once we get this floor plan, you know, up and we can share with you all the new and exciting things that we're going to be doing on the show floor and kind of give you the lay of the land once that floor plan is available. Um, deposits, 25% is required um, either by credit card or within 10 business days. Um, and then um, we have a tiered where you the second 25% is going to be due uh, January 31st. And then the final payment is going to be due June 1st. So anyone that is selecting their booth um, or exhibit application after October 22nd, you're going to be required a 50% deposit and um, and you'll be able to just select, um, you know, with a with your application. So hopefully you guys are going to take advantage of the early rate, which is now through October 22nd. And then afterwards, we're going to have our standard rate. So all that information is going to be sent to most people or everyone on this call. Um, and um, let us know if you have any questions. So Elias is gonna uh, um, go through some of the questions and our team's gonna be able to answer. And okay, if you perfect, I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, if you have a question right now that you wanna put in the chat, that this is the best time to do it. And of course, um, you can reach out to any one of us um, there is an, an email that you guys should know about. If you have specific questions related to um, setup or operations, um, you know, any sort of questions related to, you know, setting up, you know, the show, you're going to send that email to operations at issashow.com and we will get back to you. This helps us because in case one of us is not available to get back to you right away, someone on our team will be able to get back to you within 24, 24 hours. So Elias, go for it. 
Okay, perfect. I'm just going to go in order from when they were sent in. Um, Vanessa asked, what about ordering electric, uh, electrical labor? Um, her target move-in date is Sunday. Does she need to order electrical labor for Saturday or Sunday instead of Monday? Jessica. Um, so order it for, um, well, for Sunday, it will be laid down before you are in your booth. It will be done before you get there for sure. Yes. Yeah. So if your move in is Sunday and then you're going to order it for Sunday, mm -hmm. uh, but know when you arrive, it's going to be set up. Yes. Okay. So the next one is um, for the move in date, what is the time frame allowed for boost setup? The map says the start hour is at 8 a.m., but not till what time? It's typically till 5 p.m. Um, and then from that point on, you won't be able to, you'll be able to stay in, but you won't be able to exit and come back in. So if you still need more time, you're more than welcome to stay, but the in and out privileges will not be available. So just keep that in mind. Uh, I'll go ahead and answer the next one. Carrie, uh, the recording is available after. I can go ahead and follow up with an email to you as well of this presentation. That way you have it as well. Um, the next question from there would be, are there any marketing materials at this point? Um, we'll have, there's marketing materials available on our website. Um, in our press center on the ISSA show website, um, we do have our brand assets. So if you wanted to promote, you know, if you need the logo, things like that, that is all available there. Um, you'll be able to download it right from those brand assets. Um, in addition to that, once we get the Feather program, which is our, our guest program, once that's available, you'll be able to also use that for marketing. So you'll be able to send um, emails directly to your customers through that. You'll be able to kind of pull um, your own logo with everything kind of featured with your booth and everything. So um, that information will be coming soon. But at this moment right now, you can absolutely go on our website and get those brand assets. Okay, perfect. The next one's going to be a two-parter. Um, if we need to add another company contact about the exhibitor registration or can that be added along with, can we order a labor to have someone set up our booth? Correct. Question mark. Um, so for exhibitor registration, um, you can update the contact information. You'll just do that once you go into the actual um, exhibitor registration portal um, once that's available. So you'll be able to do that there. And then I'm sorry, what was the second question again? <laughs> Can't, sorry, I, I read it weird. Uh, <laughs> can they order a labor to have someone set up their booth? Yes, you absolutely can. That will be through the GES Expresso site. Um, so um, there is a labor and equipment section. So you can do that through there. Um, you can also call them. Their number is listed on the website. So if you want to maybe talk through some things with them, you absolutely can do that. Um, and they're available um, from eight to five. Can I address the, the con contact change? If you are a primary contact and are not going to the show, um, you obviously have access to the exhibitor portal and exhibitor registration. You can give that username and password to any one of your colleagues to add in whoever is going to be uh, staffing your booth. Um, it really, if you, but if you are not going to be a primary contact any longer, um, say you're not working on the ISSA show, then just email sales at ISSAshow.com and provide us who the new contact is for your company. But exhibitor registration is literally, it's just, we, we want one person or one, um, you know, person to go into the portal and kind of manage that process. So it really doesn't matter who it is that is actually staffing the booth. It just, we don't want, you know, your entire team to go in and register themselves. Okay, the next question is, is the GES single, shop, uh, single show sign on available yet to start ordering? It is not available yet, but it will be next week. So um, we will be sending out an email with that information also. So you will see that very soon. Iris, I believe that is all the questions that we have in our Q&A thing built up that we have not already answered uh, either through type or through our webinar. 
All right. Well, I put this picture in here of the beautiful sandy beach. Uh, we absolutely thank you for your participation. And as we kind of go, you know, fade into the, or fade, the summer fades and fall kind of begins and school year begins, we're really excited to see everyone in Chicago. And our weather here has been amazing and it hopefully will continue through the fall. Um, and you guys are going to have a really, really good experience here in our beautiful city. So looking forward to seeing everyone. We will have another webinar in September, in early September, to continue the conversation. Have a great weekend, everyone. Bye, guys. Thank you for joining us. Bye, everyone. Us. Thank you.